Warning, the following video contains rants and strong language. Hello everybody, Screezilla here and I hope you're all well. And just having a look at the D-Day stuff, I've, I've basically been ignoring Wolf Hunter for a few days. Um, anyway. So, this has annoyed me a little bit. These vehicles have been added to the store. Well, not added, they've been in the store forever, but, but they've been... Uh, placed in as a discounted version of themselves, let's say, or a uh, Golden Eagle version of themselves, so console players can get them. Uh, console players will get a 30% discount on the vehicles of their choice and can use Golden Eagles for them. Now, these vehicles, the Typhoon, the M10 Achilles, the M18 Black Cat and the P47 1RE have been in store for a long, long time. Um, especially the bundle offers, they've been in store for a long, long, long time. Uh, if we just click over. Do, 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 do. Page not found. I think it's ended because I missed it or something. One of those things. Uh, but yeah, it was available for a short time to buy on this. The thing that's really annoying me though, and the thing that's really, really got my goat up this morning, is this. Little gold bar here. New vehicle. If this is actually placed into the shop as new vehicle. New vehicle. Um, then that's the greasiest thing I have seen since Randy Pitchford. Thanks, Randy, you barely legal squirty magic trick on a USB drive and medieval times profiteer off the backs of hardworking game devs not noticing 10 grand off your credit card, lion, low rent, party magician, pendulette, filleting, backstabbing, mall narc, and Sega cheating. Greasy bastard. Oh, that's greasy. That's really fucking greasy. Yeah, that's greasy. Greasy. Making a very, 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 very old premium. The, these premium packs were from long ago, like long, long ago, even. Um, you know, sort of when we're talking first release kind of stuff here. And putting a gold bar across them and saying new vehicle it, it is a really scummy thing to do when they're not. These aren't new vehicles to anyone. These are vehicles that could have been bought at any time. Now, I know they've done a change to the um, PS4, uh, PS4 account stuff and things like that, but does not excuse the fact that you're trying to sell an old vehicle as a new one. That's just really scummy of you, Gaijin. Like, come on. Seriously. Treat your community better than that. Uh, that. That's all I wanted to say, really, is just this is a really greasy, scummy thing to do. Um, and these are some of the reasons why I'm not playing War Thunder as much as I used to. Because, well, the developers just care about taking money and ruining your life. Rather than letting you have a fun game by using planes that you want to use. Cough, cough, B-29. Um, you know when you have cough cough F89Ds in every single match usually about three or four of the bastards or if you're playing a lower tier you have AD4s, AD2s, AD21s uh, the F4U6AU1 basically killing all the ground targets so the match only lasts you know under five minutes um, and the only real effective planes against them are planes that you can't afford to fly because, well, it's almost a 50,000 line repair cost, uh, which is just beyond a joke, really. It's it's kind of stupid. At least they've lowered the 2005 a little bit. But, you know, again, I've said this a lot of times and many times I've grumbled about this, but there are some vehicles that are just economically unplayable in the game. 
and they're mainly on the access side. Um, if we look down the Russian tree at some of the more high-end vehicles, none of them reach that dizzying height of ridiculous amounts of money, unless you go to the TU4, uh, which of course I don't have spaded, of course, so it's a bit cheaper, but you know, it, it's just, just beyond a joke really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, you know, the fact that you've got this, and also just another thing as well, is just those copy and paste um, sort of premiums as well. There's been a few premiums added in recently that are just pure copy paste with new skins. Um, I'm talking about the KI 44 one, um, the Spitfire Mark I, Mark II, is it? Mark I, Mark II A. We have a Mark II A in the regular tech tree. Yes, it gives you some extra RP, but it's not worth it. It's a really, really bad premium to get because, well, it has no cannons. It's just full of Browning guns. And, I mean, if you really, really wanted to, where am I going? You buy a talisman for it for 640 golden eagles, which is cheaper. And would give you the same experience, other than the fact you have to actually grind it, which will take you like two matches. Um, so you're paying double for a plane that has no reasoning for it. it it's, it's such a scummy tactic. Like... Seriously, such a scummy tactic. Yes, you get a slightly different skin for it, but for a talisman, 640 golden eagles, you know, that's half, almost, well, that's pretty much half the price for a plane that, that just doesn't have that little extra decal on there, but you can put the decals on there, you can put decals on the plane, you, you, you could effectively make that skin, and then you've got it, and it's pointless, it's just, what the, what the hell, Gaijin, seriously, like, seriously, it's, it's beyond a joke, like, it's, seriously, like, Gaijin, what are you thinking, you know, but it's, it's gonna give you no extra reward, it, it's... Oh, oh, sorry, wait. 1.3... 1.12. Okay, so yeah, it's going to give you slightly more reward. But by bugger all, really. You know, a 2.5 SL reward compared to a 1.5. It's not that much difference at this BR. It's not going to make a huge amount of difference. Like, just put a talisman on it, or... It, that's oh, where I was going to the two, to the one A even, which again put a talisman on it. It's pretty much the same plane. The the one and the two A. There's not much difference. The same BR for a reason because there's not much change between the two. Or grind to the Mark Two B, which actually has a couple of Hispanos in it, and put a talisman in that, and get effectively the same lion rate, and a better, uh, just a slightly nerfed uh, RP rate because, you know, you're only getting, uh, you, you're losing out on about, do, 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 brain working maths, 390, about 40 odd percent but it's not much it's not it's not enough to justify paying that much for a stock plane it's ridiculous like come on gaijin treat your players with a modicum of respect please like it, it's so bloody stupid i can't remember which other tech tree had it added in had one of these stupid new bloody freemium planes added in but it, it's just don't buy them just don't don't buy it. If you see it, don't buy it. Because 
it's not worth it. Just put a bloody talisman on a slightly better version. Again, RE 200, 2001, Serial 1. Serial 1. Oh, wait, 2001, isn't it? Sorry, I'm clicking on the wrong one. Um, so, yeah, effectively, that is a... Uh, that is a slightly new plane. Uh, oh, no, wait, don't, there it is. There's the one I was looking for. Sorry, I, my brain is kerfuffled sometimes. Um, there it is. Same plane. Put a talisman on it. Or, even better, get the RE2001CN, the Night Fighter variant, which is a much better version, um, and do that. It's going to get you more research, because it's going to be a better plane, and it's a higher BR, so you get a little bit better battle rating and stuff. Or don't do that, because you're going to grind past it very quickly, and just wait until you get the 2005, but then you've got to pay that silly SL cost. So just buy the G55S because that's the only way you can effectively fly these planes now. But it's just ridiculous. It's so bloody stupid. Like, put a talisman on the plane that you're flying. It's that easy than buying these bloody premiums that aren't even a premium. You know, it's it's getting to, to a joke now, you know, the, these vehicles were added, sorry, I'm going to ramble on a bit, but these vehicles were added, of course, so that Gaijin could go, oh, look, we have the most vehicles in the world, and it's like, yeah, but pretty much all of them are copy and paste. You know, yes, some have slightly different loadouts, and some have slightly different model variants, which have no actual difference in the look. Um, go to the German P-47 for this example. Uh, which was a Razorback, of course. Uh, the Germans never had a bubble cockpit version that I know of. Um, of course, the, you know, somebody's going to prove me wrong now, of course. Um, but it was the Razorback, so it didn't have the bubble cockpit. It had the uh, spine across the back. That should be the German version of the B-47. You know, make it interesting. The, the Razorback, I don't even think it's in-game, is it? You know, we've got all these fancy new jets coming in, but we don't have a bloody Razorback version of the p47 like what an absolute bloody joke and you've added in these new premiums that are just copy and pastes which really aren't worth it because you can just get a better plane that's got more options or you just add in so many bloody same versions slightly different numbers you know hell we even have a bloody targeting which one is it there is this plane in the regular tech tree, which is a target plane. This is a target dummy plane. This is not a combat vehicle. It's for target practice. That's why it's bright bloody yellow. It's ridiculous. Like, why do we need so many Aero Cobras in the game? There is so much repetition in the game. Yet they miss out on so many interesting variants and interesting vehicles. And it just... Ah, it's just so frustrating. And as I said, this is such a greasy, scummy thing to do, Gaijin. Marking an old premium as new because you've changed it so it can be bought by G with GE or something like that. That is a really scummy tactic because that's going to fool people into thinking, oh, it's the latest plane, it's the latest premium. They're going to buy it and it's not. It's a premium that's been out for two to three years. Anyway, that's it for today. That's me over and done with ranting, so keep well and I'll catch you again. Bye-bye.